That'll work. Well, we just got back um, a few days ago from out west, and it's our first trip down to Iowa. It's been fairly warm here, so Greg and I have been waiting for a cold front, and we've got it. Um, wind went from south to north, and the barometer's on the rise, and the next few days look like they're going to be stellar. So just getting a few shots in here with uh, the Matthews, and we're going to hurry up and head out and get in the line for this evening. A little windy, but can't miss these first fronts of October. We're just driving here to go to our set, come across a runaway. You know, he's always the first to come to Iowa and we literally got a horse going right down Main Street, right down the highway. I can see its rack. It's friggin' big. It's him. Is it really? Oh, yeah. See my viewfinder? Yeah, watch it. It's friggin' coming right to us. You want this? I got this going. Do you want me to drop this window? I don't want him to see me. Become. 
comes to the dough, I should drop this, right? Leash, got my tag, got my bow. Got some cameras.
is perfect. Hopefully with any luck we have another encounter with him tonight. Hopefully we can get it done.
look at the arrow, read the sign, and then back out, go watch it on the TV, and probably leave them till morning. It's going to be down to 34 degrees tonight, so almost freezing, plenty cold, so it should be fine. I hope that arrow got up, got enough in him, got, was high enough to get the job done. I think it is, so we'll get down here in a little bit, check the arrow, and then slide out of here and view it on the big screen. All right, it's the following morning. We gave him 14, 15 hours actually since the hit. And um, we elected to give him overnight just not knowing about the exact shot location and what that all entails. And we're down to basically two theories, either one, it got up there lower heart and some of the arterial stuff down in the bottom, or it's basically a flesh wound through the bottom of him. So I suspect we'll know very quickly when we take up the trail um, what the result is, either he's going to be giving us a pretty fairly easy trail to follow or it's going to be tough. So we're going to get in there, give it a look. Uh, we know exactly where he crossed the two track. We're going to start there and hopefully it goes well. Wish us luck. Oh my God, there's no way to reenact this crap. We were coming through here. It was looking super bleak. He came up here, we were looking. He cut downhill and I tipped over this thing and he's laying dead right there in the ditch, man. Oh my God, oh my God. Really? Man, oh my that's, God. A, that's awesome. That's oh my really God, awesome. oh my God. Okay. How far do you think we went? 300 yards? Probably. I gotta get down there, I'm sorry. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, it took us two evenings of the hunting season to catch up with this giant Iowa deer. Uh, but the work started uh, a, lot, a lot longer before that. Uh, Hours and hours of timber stand improvement, fire, a new food plot location. We moved the stand location from one side of this field to the opposite side based on observations. We had this um, entire setup, meaning a food plot, a blind, access, everything mapped out about 250 yards to the west of where we ended up harvesting this year. And we had some decent success over there. Greg was fortunate enough to harvest a booner deer out of that setup. But three years of observations showed us that this other spot just seemed a little bit more productive. So even though we felt like our current setup was pretty good, we elected to move it 250 yards. The move gave us a lot better access. It gave us several more wins to hunt. And so the other setup just made sense. And it's a great bullet point to not be afraid to make changes. Greg and I decided to make the change and we said, hey, if this doesn't work, we can always elect to go back and put it back where it was, which is an outstanding spot in itself. So fortunately for us, we went with our gut, we changed locations and it paid off. And I could not be happier to be sitting behind my largest Iowa buck to date. Greg, I can't thank you enough. I could thank you a million times, that wouldn't be enough, but I really appreciate everything. And I'm the happiest guy in Iowa right now.